Now guys, this is a very special gaming setup video because in this particular video, I'm gonna be trying out my new PC and we'll see how good it really is for gaming. Alright then, let's get to building the setup from scratch and the two most time consuming items to put together are always the desk and the chair and the starting point for this gaming station will be the desk. And here we have a large brown box from Gala X Hero and I was really excited to try out one of the products from this brand so let me show you guys how I put it all together. As always when I unbox large items, I make sure I take my time doing it so I know that every single part that's supposed to be in this box is there. Being neat and organized is very important when building these. There was just so many components to this, but I managed to separate them all. With the right power tools, it wasn't hard assembling this, but of course I let the instructions manual guide me through the whole process. Look at that guys, for 340 bucks, you can get yourself an epic looking desk like this one. This is by far the largest desk that I have built. It's 61 inches long and 30 inches in height. My choice of chair for this project came from a brand called Vipec and although I had never heard of it, I was intrigued by the name and so it got me a little excited to open up the large box the chair came in. As you can see the chair will be matching the desk as far as colors, both black and red are present on this chair. Normally a chair like this would take me longer to put together but all the experience that I have acquired from building these over the last few months and the help of my drill just made everything much faster and easier and within 10 minutes I was able to assemble this Vipec ergonomic chair from the ground up. Prices vary for this chair but if you get your hands on one of these chairs it'll be worth it. Now that we got the chair and desk builds out of the way we can get to the PC I'll be using for this setup and so I wanted to try something different. By looking at this box, you would not think that there was a PC in there, right? Well, there is. Let me introduce you guys to the Minis Forum Desk Mini. And yes, it's exactly what you think it is. It's a miniature personal computer. Physically, the most eye-catching part of this is its size, but when I took it out of its box, it had quite a good feel to it. Alright, let's unwrap the actual machine and see what it's all about. You get AMD Ryzen 5 and Radeon Vega 8 graphics as well. If we tour the sides of this mini PC, you guys can see that there's many ports for USBs such as USB Type-C and USB 3.1 Gen 1 and 2. Also there's an audio jack and of course a power button and guys this is just the front. On the back there's more options such as HDMI ports, display ports and more USB 3.1 ports. By pressing on the two bottom corners, the top cover can easily pop off and inside we can see the Minis Forum PC guts. This is very convenient when it comes to upgrading certain components such as memory or if you'd like to install more storage, that is also an option as well. The configurations for this particular PC that I have here are 16GB of memory and 256GB of storage. The total value that this mini PC comes out to be is $570 which is right around the price range of a lower end gaming PC. Of course you must know that this version of the Minis Forum Desk Mini is not particularly meant to be a gaming PC, but guess what? Since we do gaming here, we'll be taking it for a spin. Let's take out the mini keyboard slash air mouse. This is a tiny keyboard that reminds me a lot of the old slider phones. It is wireless and on the bottom we can slide out the cover so we can pull out the USB receiver which I will be plugging into the desk mini. Now guys, before we proceed to testing out this tiny PC, this right here is the AOQ Ultra Slim 15.6 4K portable monitor and yes, we are dealing with a mini PC so I decided to go with a small monitor as well for this demo. This monitor is very thin but it does not mean that it's fragile, it does feel very tough so for this demonstration I will be using the stand that was provided in the box. Just look at how awesome that sits on there. I powered the monitor through a USB-C to USB cable and connected the mini PC using a mini HD. HDMI to HDMI cable, so now we will be able to see how well this monitor operates. Going back to the Minis Forum Desk Mini, it's worth noting that it does come with Windows 10 fully installed on it, but just like any new product, I had to register it and customize it for my needs. Although the mini keyboard slash air mouse was nice to have, I just couldn't operate this PC with it for too long, so I resorted to getting a $15 10 mouse RGB wireless white mouse from Amazon. Just like the air mouse, it does come with a USB receiver and a charging cable. Once fully charged, this 10 mouse was my permanent mouse. As far as the keyboard, I grabbed my Walmir Colored Glaze White RGB keyboard. Both of these items were fully compatible and the PC recognized them almost instantly as I plugged them in. 
Now the moment of truth. After downloading Fortnite on it and testing it out, I came up with two conclusions. Yes, it's possible to game on this PC, and although you will not get the best performance in the world, you can still enjoy good quality gameplay. Lesser intensity games will probably be your best option for this, and I don't recommend playing online with a high intensity game such as Fortnite because the lag can get annoying. Something like Among Us is a better option for this. By the way guys, my first and only Fortnite game on this PC I did end up winning. The AOQ monitor did hold up its end as far as quality. For the rest of the setup, I wanted to turn it into a streaming one. So here are some of the items that I got for that. My Phil Canvas wireless headset which I did originally used in my Xbox Series X gaming station. These are perfect for noise cancelling and good quality audio. Not too long ago I got a package from Rode with some of their best products and in there was this NT-USB mini microphone. This USB mic can do a lot and be used for gaming, streaming, podcasting and recording voiceovers among other functions. This mic is very well built with a solid frame. For it being one of their lower end microphones, Rode sure did put in the work to making this plug and play microphone a success. Great audio and for 100 bucks, it really is a great price. The headphones I plugged into the microphone and the microphone I connected to my MacBook which you can see right here. It's ready to go. This Emit C 960 1080p webcam will be ideal for this streaming gaming station. Again, just like the Rode mic, this is a plug and play type of device and I did mount that on top of my portable monitor just as you see right here. One thing that you guys should know is that the room where I'm setting all this up on does not have an internet or modem router. That would be located on my main room and usually the signal weakens with distance. Luckily I was able to get a hold of this awesome Rockspace Wi-Fi repeater. I definitely need this if I plan on streaming on this little setup. For almost 50 bucks, I'd say this is a great investment if you want to extend your wireless signal. Another device worth purchasing for live streaming is this Cloner Alliance Flint 4KP Plus Capture Card. These are typically in the $170 price range. Now this is a lesser known device but I thought it was worth the shot. When I finally had the capture card in my hand, it felt pretty indestructible and I say that because the Elgato HT60S capture card felt very fragile compared to the Flint 4KP Plus device. Sure, these two serve the same purpose and have a lot of similarities both physically and performance wise but I love the fact that with the Cloner Alliance device I can game in 4K quality while recording or streaming in 1080p at 60 frames per second. So basically that is why it's called the Flint 4KP Plus. You don't have to sacrifice your 4K gameplay to stream at 1080p which is still the most common way to live stream these days. Lag is almost non-existent and this works with popular software such as OBS. To finish up this gaming setup I thought I'd hang up some gaming posters which I had left over from previous setups I've done. These are pretty basic but highly decorative. Check it out guys, that's pretty much how it all looks once everything is put together. Even the chair looked great there. Lighting coming from the desk was perfect and it's definitely something that I was content with. That concludes my first ever PC gaming setup. I know it wasn't what you guys were truly expecting but hey guys, it can only get better. Overall I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed putting everything together for you guys. Remember that all the items featured in this video will be in the description below with affiliate links so you guys can purchase your own if you wish to do so. I'll see you guys in my next video.